cruise around the island. It's gonna be a good day. We are really surprised. There was a gentleman telling us that we're not allowed to fly the drone. Getting here was quite an adventure. Hey champs, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Tag Along With Chai. In this episode, we're taking you from Cebu Island in the Philippines to Bohol. We are taking the ferry. It's gonna be about an hour and a half, two hour ferry drive to the other side. We rented two motorbikes here. We're gonna check out the island. There is a lot to see. It's gonna be a busy day, 7 a.m. About an hour and a half and this boat is departuring. It's gonna be a good day. The sun is out, sunscreen on. And as usual, we're not doing this alone. We're doing this with Ilona, woo! <laughs> We will have a look on the top deck as well. Oh, look at this. Little boy, hello. Good How are you? Morning. You okay? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. man, thank you for having us. Business class. <laughs> this boat has three classes, economy class, business class, and a class in between. The first two classes are air conditioning and inside. And then you've got economy class behind us. It's outside, but you're in the shade. The breeze is there. It's actually also really comfortable to just be up here. Ilona and I brought another friend with us. He's actually guiding us around the island today. He doesn't really gonna talk into the camera, but uh, yeah, he's part of this journey and he wants to take business class. So that's why we are enjoying the business class for today. There's friendly staff welcoming us on board. Also behind the bar, there's a little bar that's serving hot drinks. The tickets were 1,700 pesos. This was for two people and the motorbike. We're gonna cruise around the island. It's gonna be a good day. We have Cebu on the left side, Macan on the other side, and then they're thinking even of, take, of making another bridge going all the way to Bohol, so you don't really have to catch this ferry anymore. That would be a big change for Bohol if they actually gonna accomplish this. Welcome to Chocolate Hills. We are about 40 minutes away from the ferry. We're gonna get some cool shots here, show you around a little bit, and then we are heading to our destination where we're gonna sleep tonight. Loda got us a little bit of uh, coconut juice. Very tasty, always fresh. You can basically get it everywhere. I'm not too sure if this is all year around. Maybe you can tell us in the comments. My mate is shooting us some footage from the beautiful hills from up there. I'm actually getting us a drone when we get back in Thailand. Um, but now we are gonna have to do it with our mates. And let's, uh, let's do a selfie, eh? There was a gentleman telling us that we're not allowed to fly the drone, so we pack up the drone, and then we're gonna walk the stairs, have a look from up there. <laughs> James, I'm gonna have to say, so far, the Philippines has been amazing to us. The people also, like pretty much everyone is speaking English. The food that we have been tasting, is phenomenal something that we haven't seen anywhere else yet we are really surprised the mexican cuisine the french cuisine the italians it's all famous indian the thai cuisine i never really heard of the filipino cuisine but hopefully that's going to change and we're nearly there there are a few foreign tourists but mainly there are local tourists that makes this place i guess a little bit more special oh, there we are champs First impressions of the island, the roads are well maintained. There are a few puddles here and there and there is some road maintenance, but 
it's actually really accessible to get here. Why are they called Chocolate Hills? Chocolate Hills because they are brownest chocolate during dry season. Yes. Yeah. Hey, but I heard also they're, they're named after like they're Chocolate Hills because they're Hershey Kisses. The Hershey yeah. Kisses. Yeah. That's kind of the unofficial one, but the, 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 the name started. The started because of dry season. Yeah. Well, I, th I think that's what they say. That's what they say. Yeah. That's what we read. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go now to Casa Nino Beach Hotel. Dos. Number dos. Number dos. Okay, numero dos at Panglao Beach. Let's, let's go, go, let's go, go, let's go! We just arrived at Panglao. We're staying at Casa Nino 2. It's a hotel. We treated ourselves a little bit. It's got a swimming pool. The rooms are quite basic, but it's just a nice little area as well where we are in. Panglao is one of the most visited areas here on the island. So it's a little bit more expensive here as well. We're paying about 1700 pesos per night for this room. Getting here was quite an adventure. It started raining at some stage as well. We had to hide for the rain. For several hours straight it rained and then we decided to just carry on driving. Um, now we're here, it stopped raining. The beach is not far away, but we're probably gonna give that a quick visit tomorrow. There are a lot of beautiful beaches. Apparently the nightlife is really good on this island as well. Beautiful nature, amazing people. The weather was letting us down a little bit today because of the rain. Um, it's already hurricane season, the start of the hurricane season. There will be a bit more rainfall, a lot of strong winds. You can see the consequences of these hurricanes throughout the islands, probably throughout the country as well. We haven't visited a lot of places yet. We're carrying on traveling, exploring the Philippines, but also meeting interesting people. We're gonna do some street interviews to see what people like about the Philippines. We're gonna talk to a lot of locals, but also to a lot of foreigners to see what they think of the Philippines. Thank you for watching till the very end. If you wanna join this journey, we are based in the north of Thailand, but we're actually traveling through Southeast Asia and now we are in the Philippines for several weeks so hop on board be part of this journey I would like to say from the Philippines at Panglao Island connected to Boha Island bye for now stay champ <laughs>